Kenya, James Wakibia is considered by some a hero. The photojournalist became a leading environmental activist when he campaigned for a total ban on single-use plastics. By 2015, he was vocal about the problem of plastic waste. He was unhappy that the only dump site in his hometown of Nakuru was not only an eyesore, but also destroying the environment. Essentially, garbage is supposed to be inside the dumping site or the landfill. But in this case, the garbage was leaving the landfill and going towards the road that I was using. It aches my heart to see plastics in a river. It aches my heart to see a green, beautiful place filled with plastic garbage. So the anger saw me start a campaign to address the issue of plastic pollution. I felt that I needed to do it myself. He approached county government authorities, but they did not act. He got more active with his camera, taking photos of litter, particularly plastic bags, and posting them online. I made uh, hashtags on Twitter and Facebook. Any platform that I was able to use, I used it to, f to maximum. You know, I even wrote articles to mainstream media, to our newspapers. I was invited for talk shows in radio stations calling for ban on plastic bags. That is something that had trended for a few days before the Cabinet Secretary for Environment, Judo Hakungu, tweeted back with our hashtag and said she supported ban on plastic bags in Kenya. In August 2017, Kenya made headlines when it banned single-use plastic carrier bags. The new law was seen by many worldwide as the strictest ban due to the harsh penalties imposed on violators. I was excited. I felt, you know, this is it. After all those years, five years of running a campaign, we are here. The government has listened and the ban of plastic bags has kicked off. I was super excited. He says he has seen transformation of public spaces including the once littered roads and the gutter dumping site is now more organized. Thousands of waste products from all of Nakuru County residentials and business areas all come here at Gyoto dumping site. And even though Wakibia feels the county government is doing better in the management of the dump site, there is definitely much more to be done. Governments need to invest a lot of resources in modernizing solid waste management. And if we fix our waste management, I think the issue of plastic pollution will be half dealt with. Plastic bags are still used by some. Experts warn plastic bags contribute to climate change due to the amount of fossil fuels emitted during production and because they are not degradable. It's actually estimated that around 9% of the global oil goes into plastic production. And it's estimated that that will increase to up to 20% in 2050. So it's a very resource-rich industry that obviously by producing plastics you emit a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. It's dumped in the environment, either on the soil, in the air, in the water. And by solar radiation it creates more greenhouse gas emissions. Oceans are actually the largest carbon sinks. So they have the capacity to absorb carbon from the, from the atmosphere. Now, the plastic comes in and, and again, while floating on the ocean, it, there's solar radiation, it creates greenhouse gas emissions. Wakibia's fight against plastics is still not over. He's now focused on getting the government to ban plastic bottles. With his camera and a huge social media following, he is optimistic that he can once again win the battle. Wanjamo Guy, CGTN.